Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. The crazy because I always wait to start a video and put on chapstick. <laughs> okay, this video is actually about chapstick. Believe it or not. I remember back in the day, chapstick was like chapstick, chapstick. Everybody had to have chapstick. And then somewhere along the line, nobody was really talking about chapstick anymore. And then there was like Blistex for like the winter time to moisturize your lips. And then there was, um, I think, um, Burt's Bees has, you know, lip products and blah, blah, blah. I used to use the Fresh Sugar Lip Scrub. And I used to use it like once a week, probably like five or six years. Oof. I was gonna say five or six years ago, but actually it's been probably like 10 years ago. And I think the last I used it was maybe almost two years ago. And I would just wait until, and not intentionally, but one day I would be like, my lips are dry and they're chapped and like, okay, let me use this scrub. And then I would have to use it for like three or four days in a row to get my lips completely soft and smooth. Cause as you know, well, some of you may or may not know, when your lips get dry after a while, your skin might start to crack or peel on your lips. And so a scrub will help scrub that off. But I found that it always left my lips feeling raw. Like if my lips were to the point where they were cracking and there was like this peeling skin and things like that, the scrub would actually irritate my skin, especially because I had to use it, you know, two or three or four times to get my lips to be smooth. What I found out was... Because in the winter, my lips do get drier, I have purchased chapstick. <laughs> this one is black cherry and it has SPF 15. I didn't know that was important for lips, which I should have known because, you know, your skin needs sunscreen. But anyway, so I found that using chapstick, like during the day, and it does, for the most part, absorb into my skin unless I put on a lot. And then before I put on my lipstick or if I'm putting on a, um, a matte lip color or a liquid lipstick, I'll just take a cloth or even just a paper towel and just wipe off the excess. And even when I wipe off the excess, my lips are still soft and smooth. And there was a time during the winter when my lips were dry and cracked and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get another scrub. I was too lazy to purchase another scrub. Turns out I had one in my closet somewhere that I forgot that I had. It was a brand new one. But in the meantime, I was using the black cherry one at night before I went to sleep. And then I would just, you know, wipe the excess off before I got into bed because I didn't want it to stain my sheets because, well, not the sheets, but um, my pillowcase because the black cherry one has a slight tint to it. And I realized after about four days of using chapstick every night, my skin natural my skin my lips naturally started to shed the dry cracked skin. And I was like, huh. So with a little bit of patience and consistent daily use, because I was using this during the day and at night before I went to sleep, using this twice a day, I'm saying it like it's a vitamin or something. <laughs> using this twice a day for, you know, like four days actually healed my lips. And so I'm like, I don't need to spend 20 something dollars for a lip scrub. Just be consistent using chapstick. And because I didn't want to wipe it off that night before I went to sleep, I went on this, the uh, hunt for <laughs> the original one because the original one is clear. And so there's no issue with it possibly rubbing off onto or the color rubbing off onto my pillowcase the only thing i hate is how you open it because i'm not always able to open it where the top protective um plastic comes off and so this one like i just kind of <laughs> that's the only thing i don't like is like how to open it without it being a mess but so this video is real short is real sweet is real simple if your lips are just starting to get dry Get either, if you want a slight tint, get the black cherry one and they they have other flavors. I mean, I don't taste it, so I don't know, but it smells, uh, does it smell like, it does smell like something. <laughs> and this is the classic one, which is clear and surprisingly it has SPF 15 in it as well. And I finally just found an original one that has no SPF in it. 
that I've been using at night along with this one just to use it up since this one I had opened and ruined the packaging. But anyway, if you have patience and you don't want to spend $20, $30 on a lip scrub, just get chapstick. One of these is like a dollar, well, where I am, the last I purchased it, it was um, like a dollar and nine cents for just one. And then there was a three pack for um, like two forty nine. So I'm like, well, two forty nine for three is cheaper than a dollar and nine cents for one. And so I bought the three pack. And I keep one in my purse. I keep one um, here. <laughs> the one I use when I <laughs> start my videos. And the clear one I keep in the bathroom to put on at night. So if your lips are extremely dry and extremely chapped and you're like, I need to get this fixed as soon as possible, then yeah, go ahead, go ahead and get a lip scrub. However, the time it's going to take still for the lip scrub to exfoliate your lips over time and also heal your lips if it's if you're exfoliating dead skin off where like how my lips got irritated when I did that. If your lips are like that too, then just have some patience and put chapstick on every night before you go to sleep. Put chapstick on during the day. And that's that's all you need. And it's inexpensive. And with all of the expensive skincare items that are out there, you know, if we if you can find something inexpensive like chapstick to buy to help your lips, then go for it. I'm not saying don't use scrubs. If you want to do scrubs and you want to be doing... I mean, go for it. But if you have patience and you're willing to wait, you know, three or four or five days for your lips to heal and for the, the dry skin to heal itself and, and sloth off, then go with the chapstick. So that's it for this video. And let me know below what you think. If you do use lip scrubs, let me know which ones you like, which ones are your favorite. And if you don't, let me know what you do to keep your lips moisturized. I know Fenty came out with um, an exfoliating lip thing you put on and then you wipe it off and then you put on your lip color. Uh, you know, yeah. I haven't tried it because I'm happy with chapstick and it's a whole lot cheaper than, than that product. And I am a Fenty lover, so, you know, I need to save where I, can, where I can. Thank you for watching this video and you will see me in the next one. If you enjoyed this, you know, click like um, and subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thank you. Bye.